When I first started the business, I didn't know whether or not I would succeed at it. And so I signed a one-year contract <laughs> on, my, on this space that I lease. And my philosophy was I wasn't going to buy anything that I wouldn't put in my own home because if I couldn't sell it, I'd have to live with it for the rest of my life. <laughs> so that would be my philosophy. If you wouldn't want to live with it, don't expect someone else to. My name is Robert Zizzo and I am the owner of ModLifeHome.com. My focus is not limited to mid-century modern. It is 20th century modern design, but it's furniture from the 1940s through the 1970s. The type of pieces I'm particularly interested in are American and Danish modern um, pieces such as Henry Don or Mastercraft. I think that shows like Mad Men have made uh, mid-century modern furniture very popular. And when I actually had the set designers from Mad Men call me to look for lighting, I was really excited. I've done some furniture rentals in the past, but a lot of times if you blink, you didn't even see it. Um, so what was exciting about Mad Men is they actually bought the lighting in Don Draper's office. That's, and so I see, every time I see Don Draper's office. I did a lot of furniture rental on the show, The Playboy Club, which was very short-lived, but, um, but the set designs were beautiful. I started getting the business with the love of the hunt, you know, and going out and hitting the pavement and driving around the country. But what actually happened was I bought a very contemporary modern townhome. And so I wanted to furnish it with classic vintage modern furnishings. And when I started looking around town, I just couldn't find it. It dawned on me that if it was that difficult for me, who wasn't in the design business and wasn't a dealer, there might actually be a demand for it here in Chicago. Every piece that I get, if it's not in excellent original condition, then it's reupholstered, refinished, rewired, or just completely reinvented. I'm not, I'm a purist. I'm not really a big fan of just painting furniture, but um, I'm not against it either. <laughs> I have built up a design business uh, through the store. Um, I have done a salon downtown, and I am working on a beach house in California, which is really fun. I think it's important when you're designing a space not to impose your taste on your client, to find, to identify what it is that they want to achieve, and, and to meet that through your own aesthetic. That sofa in the window? Oh, oh I'm sorry, I have to get back down there. Down. <laughs> One of my favorite pieces that's in the store is uh, the sofa by Ed Wormley for Dunbar. I found it actually in the donation center, which was a, a great find. And it had suffered a really bad 80s makeover. And we stripped it down and reupholstered it as it was originally intended by Ed Wormley in the 50s. You know, I, I put everything up for sale but the dog. And the dog, it could be negotiable. <laughs> Oh, Jody, Jody, Jody. You want to say hi to the people? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you gain a little weight this morning? Hmm? I know exactly where the future of mod life is going, and it's going online. I do sell my inventory through firstdibs.com, and I also sell through One King's Lane. Well, 10 years ago, I got into this business out of the love of the hunt. A few years into it, I found that it, my love was really in the sale. <laughs> I needed a larger showroom, and that's why I moved into this showroom five, seven years ago, but it was just before the financial crisis, and then when the recession hit, business came to a screeching halt. And so it wasn't so much hunting for furniture as it was for the buyers. And I found that through online sales. And the online sales are, are growing um, globally. 
but the traffic is not growing in the showroom. So being a big fan of Shark Tank, I'm following the money. <laughs>